Hey you all, this is Ascension Empress with your Libra full moon reading, okay? This is a collective reading for whoever comes across it, all right? I hope everyone is doing well. Peace and blessings be upon you all. <sighs> it's been a journey, okay? But it is going, it is what it is, okay? I appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate the love. Welcome, if you are new, welcome back, y'all. We get into the flow of things and... As I've been saying, God has just been moving, not only with me, but just with the collective and in ways we can't even imagine, in ways I'm hearing we're not even supposed to try to comprehend um, because there has been a lot of overthinking. There's been a lot of that eight of swords energy, that devil energy of the balance. I'm hearing the balance. So there's, it's a very karm. Oh, I'm hearing this karmic full moon. Okay. So there could be a lot of karmic energies, uh, not only on, you know, 3d surface level, all that, you know, how that karmic energy go. Right. But Spirit saying, think bigger, right? Okay, wow. So there are people who are maybe in that eight of swords, nine of swords energy. There may be some fear, some anxiety, some projections. Um, other people projecting, trying to do magic and send spiritual attacks your way, especially on a mental level. Um, but spirit is also saying whatever mindset, whatever way of um, being or whatever, because somebody's also fixed on something. So I've been picking up on a lot of cardinal um, and fixed energy. So we're going to look into that as well. Uh, separately, y'all can check out the bonus readings on Patreon for, I believe, Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer, um, and Aries. All right. Those are public. So that is on Patreon. That information is down below, um, y'all. But I'm already picking up on a lot of messages, especially this astrological energy. Mars just went into Pisces. Um, and I'm still very much feeling the influence of that Mars and Aries Ooh, okay, so yeah, <laughs> this Aries season, I was going to say Mars and Aquarius. So this Aries season is not playing, y'all. It's not playing. Um, very beautiful at the same time, though. So I feel like some of y'all may be going, going, going. There could be a lot because I mean, I've been picking up on creation, um, physical energy. Somebody could be spending a lot of physical energy um, going forward. But beware. I'm hearing of a fire or fired up some type of argument um someone could be getting fired or yeah okay there's a lot of energy around this aries i'm because i'm picking up on power there's a reason why i said mars and aries y'all okay because I, I hear power struggle right look mm. i do feel like there's energy within the workplace somebody may be trying to get you fired or, or y'all we we gonna go ahead and get into it um and see what what the many messages are i'm hearing many men mm. i'm hearing many men by 50 cent okay so there could be some i'm also picking up on gun violence so protect your energy look as soon as i said it as soon as i said it and this don't even have to be physically or literally metaphorically protect your energy because there could be people trying to take shots trying to come for you many men they were just celebrating you six of wands came before this is praise and now here you are maybe pulling back your energy here look look now yeah you some people are wondering what's going on with you at peace you're protecting your energy. You're prioritizing your peace here, right? You're separating yourself from what doesn't, I'm here, yeah, what doesn't recharge you or you're focusing on recharging at this time. So I'm picking up on um, mutable, okay, Virgo energy. You could have Virgo in your chart. Um, I'm hearing that Virgo full moon. So that was, oh, that was last. Yeah, that was the last, mm-hmm, because I'm picking up on this Pisces energy here with the moon card. Pisces season. What's going on with the moon card? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Guess we getting into it. All right. So take what resonates with you. This is not for everybody. All right. But this is Libra full moon messages. Yeah, there's a lot going on I, because y'all are taking a stance. And I feel like many of y'all, it's like when you do step out and you, you got to, I'm hearing when you handle business or you're just stepping out, right? When you show up. Yeah. You, ooh, honey. Some of y'all actually do like this has something to do with business. You're handling business. You're I couldn't even finish what I was going to say about you stepping out. Right. You handle business here. 
there's this gratitude, there's this favor. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups. And then you also have the Two of Cups with the King of Swords. There's someone who has, who I'm hearing, they've made a decision. They're very sure. This could be, okay, you could be separated from the person. I didn't see this. Yeah, you could be separated from this person, y'all. Mm-hmm. Ooh-wee. Ooh, yes. I love this. I love this. So I'm, I'm picking up on a divine feminine energy who has truly maybe even gone within has taken a look at okay taking a look at what it's like to move forward and still i'm gonna hear oh that's what this is understand the assignment implement work here sir i'm here and serve this is gratitude without knowing all the answers here with the moon card okay and this could also be you or somebody else this is feminine energy being doing this is also taking the lead like it's taking a stand someone is taking a stance about how they're moving forward regardless someone is truly prioritizing what it is they see as valuable and i'm also seeing someone is prioritizing them, themselves their emotional health their physical health right but also the health of this connection that they have with the Holy Spirit here. The Ace of Cups here with the judgment, right? And that's why Spirit is calling judgment in another one. Okay, another one. Ooh, and I got that message so strong <laughs> with um, a Sagittarius energy. That's going to be a bonus for you. Not even done it yet, all right? But I picked I picked up on that another one. I, I believe DJ Khaled, and he's a Sagittarius as well, right? But here, y'all, ooh, as soon as I said another one, the Spirit said another king, okay? Some of y'all got another king, another person here um, who is also interested, invested, or wants to invest here. Um, or this is a career change. This is a woo-wee. But I'm getting for some of y'all, this is one and the same. Because I pick up on this. There's this overflow, but this humility and ah, words can't even express. I'm hearing you. You take someone's breath away here, okay, with the Ace of Cups. And the judgment heart, like judgment call on you. Like you have all the H2O over here. Nine of Cups, all of this. And someone is wanting to connect, okay? So they know the key to green grass is, you know, water, right? And someone's wanting to do that here. Someone's made a decision. This is okay. And there's been some secrets. There are there is something going on. This is that full moon energy. Y'all, this is that full moon energy that's coming up because I do see there's a divine feminine energy who's separating themselves. They're protecting their peace, their mental. They're not thinking about something that, okay. Someone is also not trying to just think or talk about just anything. Someone is truly grounding themselves here, focusing on what matters going forward, what I'm hearing, what counts. Okay, so somebody could also be, I'm saying, but don't make money it don't make sense is what i'm hearing for somebody saying that here but then this mm, yeah we're gonna pull a moonology for this first this five of wands with the high priestess and the ace of wands is definitely um some sexual energy i'm hearing envy secrets here right and i feel like with this king of swords mm -hmm, didn't i didn't i tell you about that virgo and that pisces energy y'all Balance spirituality and practicality. Conclusions are conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse that we do have coming up, y'all. Okay, so with this here, it I mean it makes sense. The high priestess. Oh, okay, y'all, hold on. Okay, because this king of swords, I feel like may not be telling it all. It's like they want to come forth as this king of pentacles, but there's this confliction or maybe not feeling stable enough or someone is going to have to speak on or be upfront about this five of wands, this high priestess, whatever the secret is, this ace of wands here, y'all. <laughs> but whoever this feminine energy is over here who done pulled the moon on the king of swords is what has them ready like, hold up. Right, like conclusions are within reach. There's a masculine energy who is that's the conclusion. They're wrapping this up and it's causing, yeah. It's causing some friction. It's maybe some arguments off on their end. Okay, but it's not getting in the way 
It's, I'm hearing it's not penetrating. Mm, yeah, it's not penetrating whatever this energy is that the feminine is, I mean, embracing, embodying, y'all. This is beautiful. I also pick up on abstinence. Okay, yeah, time for healing. Yep. That's what this is here. Spirit is here calling judgment. Like, weighing the hearts, the intentions of all parties involved in Yes, a masculine has made a decision because they've probably been triggered by the energy that this feminine energy has stepped into, but it's causing someone to take a look at their own stability, what it is that they value, uh, what they want to build here, okay? Yeah, this is some strong um, air and, in, in, uh, oh, wow, yeah, strong air and earth energy, and over here, you have that fire in earth, so I do see where this full moon in Libra and Aries can... Um, and the sun and Aries can really play a role. All this fire in this air, y'all. Beware of arguments. I'm hearing beware of a lot of talk. I'm hearing no walk. Be I keep hearing beware. Some protect your energy. Right? Protect your energy. Some of y'all may need to retreat. You and your loved ones are safe. Yeah, new moon and cancer, retreat. Luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. Anything? Or what would you like the collective to be aware of? Because all this beware energy. Yep. Ooh. Mm. I, I'm, I heard acting like a child. I'm not picking up too much because they're good. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Okay. There is other people involved for some of y'all. And you could already know this third party energy. It just could be, a, I'm hearing a history of drama. There's something around money, a, a man, a father here, child support, all of that, okay? But there's this feminine energy who is being guided and reminded that you are the privileged lady. You are high honor. You can continue to embrace your inner child. I'm hearing show. Wow, okay, that's what I'm picking up. This is show and proof. This is show and prove energy. I'm picking up on a mother here, right? Queen of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles, right? This is the difference I'm hearing. You're not gonna, you're not living by that do as I say, not as I do, because you're doing. Some of y'all have a daughter here. And there could be a, a masculine energy who you have you have a child with, and they have other children with other feminine i'm hearing high priestess energy this five of wands here spirit is calling judgment on your maturity whatever it is that you're valuing you're putting your time your energy and your passion into right and spirit is saying for many of y'all it's you taking the stance and not being you're not trying to one up the next person somebody is truly staying in their own lane here right so what's the soul journey message i love this I'm here. Remember who you are here. Yeah, with the privileged lady, right? Change. And ooh, y'all. Okay, so there is. Look at um your root chakra energy and your sacral chakra energy. This is some very nice. This is nice. This is that Aries. So I'm hearing uh where Aries is in your chart, how that is playing out these next two to three weeks, especially for somebody here. And Mars and Aries. So Mars is in Pisces. Oh, okay. So Mars just went into Pisces. But maybe by the time Mars is in Aries, y'all are going to be seeing how I'm hearing your decisions, your actions, all of that is playing a role in this change, this rebirth. Y'all, this is strong. This is change and death. Like, Spirit just said, yeah, let me remind you. Change, death, it's, it's, all, it's a lot of change, y'all. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Right, and there could be another child. I'm hearing a new addition. Somebody could be finding out that they're expecting here, um, or you're feeling like you have to defend yourself. But spirit is saying, you know, you are protected. You are protected. You are highly honored. You are favored here. Okay, yeah. Adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn because I feel like a privileged lady may be being tested. Yeah, because this unexpected income here. So let's pull from the Arisha Tarot. 
and see what the ancestor spirit guidance is <laughs> of course y'all are highly protected look at that and i'm hearing it's the opportunity around the corner right there's a new door opening there that's why there's this change this death this ending is merely beginning spirit is calling judgment the high honor is here Right, the, what you? I'm hearing your prayers. What you've done in secret? It, oh, ooh, some of y'all have prayed for some people. You've prayed for some people who wouldn't dare pray for you. That's why I'm hearing. That's why you'll be able to maintain. That's why some of y'all are able to maintain a, a connection, and you're receiving messages, message from air here. Okay, I'm hearing million dollar ideas as well. There's about to be a rebirth. Some of y'all got Scorpio in your chart. Change. I'm hearing spirit saying for the fixed signs, a lot of y'all may be really feeling some tension when it comes to this, um, which is interesting, okay? Because at least Aquarius and Libra's energy is, you know, still a trine, but I'm getting for some of the other fixed signs, it may be some tension, it may be challenging, but honey, this is gonna, it's gonna come out beautifully. Okay, if you believe. <laughs> What's the divine feminine message? Holy Spirit, holy angels. <laughs> we are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. Y'all, this is amazing. And that's what I'm picking up here with this here. I feel uh, my condolences. I heard that someone has had a miscarriage. But you, I'm hearing your mental health. Some There's this a huge theme on someone prioritizing and tending to their mental health. And it's about to change everything for you moving forward. Especially with these eclipses. So maybe that's when Mars is going, ooh, I'm going to have to see y'all. We're going to have to do a part two right the mystic of peace i am peace when my mind is clear the way is clear right look at that this was come on now you are peace and that's why some of y'all are able to acknowledge and even be present and you know step on the porch like wait a minute who is who is just trying to come disturb my peace who is trying to come challenge me like i'm, I'm hearing someone say hey, you don't have to defend yourself like someone's not telling you I, I'm hearing you say that. Like, you may not even be saying it. It's just, it's a thought. Like, I don't have to defend myself. Let's come here, here with the Seven of Wands or prove myself something here. One more Divine Feminine Energy because it's strong. Yes, Spirit said too. Wow. Y'all, no matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Exactly. Didn't I say whether this, <laughs> come on now, whether this feminine energy is pulling back recharging doing whatever putting in work behind closed doors or having to step out the most sacred sanctuary is found within her right there's still this peace when i'm hearing when my mind is clear the way is clear someone is just flowing through life someone is you know really embracing the energy of being present here okay i'm telling you the divine feminine the presence didn't i just say being present the divine feminine energy came through from the beginning, y'all. That's why he wanted them readings, right? At the center of everything, there is light, and I am that light. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, y'all. I love y'all. This is amazing. I'm so excited. So that is the reading. We probably will do a part two. We'll flow. We'll see, all right? But please take care of yourselves. Beware of triggering energy. Other people who may be, you know, just be... They're open to other entities that and spirits that are just going to use them. So be aware of that because when you're in this energy, you can, I'm here to accurately assess what's going on, okay? Someone is, you have some very powerful gifts here. Very powerful gifts. So yes, protect that, right? I love y'all. Please take care. Bye.